Hello everyone, I'm going to give you a video tutorial on how to manage networks using OpenStack dashboard. So in this tutorial, uh, this tutorial I have OpenStack Grizzly installed on, on 3 node and it has the uh, private range IP address for management network that is 10.10.0 and in this three node I have given the IP address in that range and there is a public range IP address 191.68.1.0 of course it's not the public IP range as such but for this tutorial purpose I am giving it as 198.168.1.0 okay in this tutorial I'll also um, I'll show you how to create a new network assign interface uh, to the router for this new network launching an instance with new network assigning floating IP to it as such from outside to this new VM using floating IP so this is the current setup I have right now okay this is the public network which I have showed you and this is the router uh, router and this is two private range IP address and in one of these private range IP address I have a VM with a Fedora v, um, OS installed in it so let's go ahead and uh, uh, delete this one of this network and create a new one so when I do this you will learn something let's do it okay now I'm going to delete this network okay Yeah, this failed. Why? Because we have an interface of this network attached to the router. So you can see that this interface, we need to remove this interface. Okay, fine. Sorry, let's see. <coughs> this is network before that let's remove the instance as such okay let's remove the instance first we want to dissociate all the IPs from it <coughs> just have this public network and one private network now we are going to give, create a new network let it be in the 8 range okay network 8 okay press the subnet tab and here you can give the network 8 subnet you can specify the IP network IP give the gateway IP address subnet detail you can give the name service ok create this network ok now we need a network topology you can see the new network and it has um, attached the router but we haven't added the interface yet so now go ahead and add that interface for this new network in the router ok great so the interface is 
is now added okay now let's launch a new instance i hope you have the uh, image images and also the bootable volumes in your open shack so i'm going to take the fedora image giving it a name fedora 7 okay access <coughs> i have this key pair i'm attaching to that now you can drag and drop your new network okay, volume options select your volume okay, launch so this is a tiny instance has got the IP address 10.8.8.2 now it's running state now let's see attach the console and see how it's look like just putting up okay. let's see the IP address yeah it has 10.8.8.2 in its ETTH0. Now let's see the gateway. Okay, it's 8.1. Now let us attach a floating IP to it. I already have a floating IP, so I'm going to show you how to do that again. Creating a floating IP. and security tab press that tab the network top topology now you have this uh, new VM so here uh, you can create floating IPs. So I already have this 191 I am allocating a new floating IP. Okay, from the public IP range you can allocate a new IP. Okay. Now it has 88. Let's allow uh, let's attach that floating IP. Let's attach that floating IP to our instance. Sorry might be feeble earlier let's associate ok now from our terminal let's uh, connect to this new launched VM we have launched an instance to it it is connected to the, to the router and it should be able 
and one IP from this public network is now as attached to this instance so from outside now now I am sitting in this IP range and I am able to connect to this instance via SSH sorry this the problem is I have to change the permission of my key you can create any number of networks you like and launch instance with and this is helpful um, when you have multi-tier uh, applications so now let's try to yeah, we have logged into the VM and you can see only the private range IP address even though we have mapped one public IP that is 191.1.88 to this instance we cannot see it over here it's mapped in the network node of our OpenStack installation so now let's ping outside and you should be able to ping it to Yahoo or Google or whatever public IP address so that's it I hope you have now understood a clear way of managing the network using OpenStack dashboard. You can do the everything at the whole setup uh, using command line, but if you can do it through the dashboard, it's pretty easy. Thank you for watching the video. More videos are coming. Thank you.